Hello, YouTube. Here is some more Kerbal Space Program. Uh, the the beginning of yet, uh, I guess, in my mind, this isn't really a new series. This is like a sub-series. It's a, a, a separate project. Yeah, it's not exactly a series, although there will be a chain of videos. This is, this is a project, uh, not particularly following a storyline, but what I want to do is, is something I'm going to kind of take advantage. I think I'm going to uh, uh, play to my strengths here, really. I make space shuttles. Space shuttles are pretty cool. The problem is that sharing those space shuttles with other people is very often problematic. Uh, space shuttle develop. I'm trying to remember how to spell things. Uh, I'm supposed to capitalize that. Come on, because it doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah, this is a separate install from uh, from the my usual the the ongoing the you know the mod version of the uh, career mode. This is a separate install, separate package of mods. I'm trying to. Th uh, what I want to do, the goal, is to produce space shuttles in order to lift payloads of various sizes up into orbit. But space shuttles that you, yes, you can, uh, you you will get the craft file. You'll get you'll get the instructions on how to use it. Uh, what, there will be just a very few mod parts for you to obtain. Uh, you'll have to get the, the B9 Aerospace Pack. Uh, you'll have to get uh, KW Rocketry, uh, mostly for the solid rocket boosters. Uh, and let me see, there's a few. What this AIES? Yeah, that that one has some very useful, uh, these, mostly for these small, yeah, these small little rocket engines. And I'm also going to provide, uh, let me see if I can find them in here. Yeah, here we go. I'm making these with uh, Lando's. Lando's part is part creator mod. Uh, the external fuel tanks be made with these. And again, we have this, this giant, giant solid rocket booster uh, uh, created by Nazari. I think his username Nazari 1382. Don't that thing look cool? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the Enterprise's main warp engine, like the, one of the early Enterprises, didn't it? Okay, yeah, stop that. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to make available some mod parts. You know, uh, the, some of the, the fuel tanks be made with Lando's, uh, Lando's part configuration tool. And then I'll also the engines, I've gone and I've made some config file edits in order to make separate copies of, let me see if I can find them here, of some of the stock engines. In particular, where'd they go? Where are they? Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Uh, yeah, shuttle versions of the, the main sail and this one, the LVT-45, which we'll be able to uh, you know, change the different configuration, change the values on these in order to make them work, and also using the plugin from uh, Tiberian's shuttle mod, that engine torque compensator plugin. I've added that plugin, to, that module, to these two engines. So, yeah, I'm no longer going to be using the damned robotics hinges, as those are as cool as the parts as they are. They, they quite often break whenever the game is updated. They're not perfectly reliable. Sometimes they have bugs and glitches. That and this uh, technique which I developed to use them during launch, uh, turns out a whole lot of people just aren't able to do it. I mean, you aren't, ain't, aren't able to figure out how or not willing to figure out it. I don't know. Anyway, you can't do it. <laughs> so, yeah, we're not going to use those. Okay, so first off, start. Yeah, start. Uh, we're going to start small and work our way up to large. Um, let me see here. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna use the B9 Aerospace for our primary, for our main fuselage. So this is going to be a space shuttle. Um, yeah, no config file edits other than into the, in the, uh, the engine parts. And it's, this one is just, its goal is to be able, is go to place a very small payloads up into orbit. Things like, you know, no more than the 1.25 meter payloads. Um, avionics, let's actually hang like the, and a true ASAS on there. Like that. Good. Yeah, let's go ahead and put a regular SAS on there. And 
and now we'll do the adapters. This one I'm planning on using these, uh, yeah, these tiny little uh, cargo bays. So I need an adapter to make that work. Um, I think like this, right? Yeah, one of those. And then we have... You see that? Yeah, this adapter works with those. Okay, so I could stick that thing on there like that. Oh, wait a second. That's like backwards. Hang on. Hang on. There we go. Much better. Um, a couple different ways I could do this. I mean, a problem if I stick a low wing on here. Now, now let's let's turn it over this way. Yeah, there we go. That'll work. Okay, just a couple of these cargo bay pieces. Uh, two of them? Three of them? How many do you think we need? Again, we don't, we're not really too concerned with making this big because, yeah, if we want a large payload, then we'll go with uh, a different vehicle. A larger, a larger shuttle to be developed later in the series. Uh, here, we'll call this one, um, until we have to come up with a better name. Shuttle Mark 1. Uh, no, wait a second. No, we can we can do better than that. Uh, Falcon. How about the Falcon? Uh, come on. Keep on failing to capitalize things. Here we go. This one will be Falcon. Like that. Yeah, that... It does end up looking kind of funky and non-aerodynamic this way. It's, I don't know. It's not too bad. Kind of a saddle in the middle. And this one will have the, the interesting feature of being able to uh, drop the cargo out like a, you know, out of a bomb bay door. Drop it out the belly. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I think I like it. Ooh, interesting noises. Yeah, the, the I've noticed that the the latest the deadly re-entry mod that uh, sometimes in duplicating parts we get spontaneously get that flaming sound effect. It's, I don't know why, but there it is. Oh yeah, that'll work. We can hide our main engine in there. Okay, so since I'm using this that this torque compensator plug-in, uh, we've cut, end up with this one restriction uh, to uh, to using this this plug-in, which will help um, help this 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 engine point through the the center mass. We can only have one torque compensating uh, engine per vehicle. So my plan is... Here, let's hit this button. Is that the right one? Maybe that's not the right button. I don't remember the right button. Hang on. Okay, now my reason in going through and using, deciding to use these uh, uh, repurposed, a modded version of these stock engines is because we've added a couple things to them. I've added this this module. Not, not only did I add the module for the engine torque compensation, but we're also going with the tweakable parameters mod. Look at that! So it gives you the option to change many different things about this. Uh, so many different features, really all I'm planning on changing about this engine is I want to be able to change its mass and I want to be able to change its thrust. This is, okay, so the stock part, uh, the stock part, its mass is 1.5. I want to be able to vary its mass but from a minimum 1.5 mass up to, let's see, what, four times that, up till 6.0 in steps of 0.5. Good. Turn that one. Okay, and that moves over here. Good. So that's going to give us the option to change how much mass this engine produces. And the interesting thing is, as if I understand this correctly, you will not even need to have this the tweakable parameters mod installed in order to, to take advantage of the settings that I changed this. It'll be in the craft file. Okay, so that's one thing I want to change about it. The other one I want to change is its mech is we go down into module engine. This one, and uh, not mixture density, throttle knot, all this stuff, just max thrust. It's max thrust. So the stock, it comes with, what is it, 200? So max thrust, it's going to go from 200 to what would be four times, that would be 800. 
in increments of uh, about 25. Uh, 50. Yeah, go 50. Okay, hit that button, hide those. Let's uh, adjust everything down here to the stock values to start off with and hide that window. Good. Okay, and that's not necessarily where the engine's gonna stay. I just had to stick it in there for in order to set this. Okay, so this is, you know, th this is one thing that's kind of unfortunate. I mean, we were used to, you think of a, a space shuttle, you could think of that uh, as the iconic, the cluster of three, three main engines back there. Uh, but just the way this particular plug-in works, that's not going to be, uh, be a possible. Um, I don't like... Okay, now I'm going to anticipate... Let's take this thing off of here. I actually want to be able to connect this radially. Editor Tools allows us to do that. Okay, because I'm going to set this so... Oop, come on, alright, let's do Surface Attach. Like that. It's also convenient. I don't like seeing the engine, all of the engine hanging out there. I, f I figure a whole lot of the engine assembly is actually inside this part. It's just, you will just have the nozzle hanging outside. So I want to get that centered as carefully as I possibly can. Because this just needs to pretty much be by eye. Move this over here. Give it two clicks upward. Uh, so there's basic fuselage. Let me see. But I also need to think about putting some uh, some OMS engines back here. That's always like having uh, one central, this the the main engine, the main thrust in the middle, and then we'll have a couple of OMS. Oh, I could even stick them all the way in the end like that. That might work. That could be just the simplest possible. Um, I don't know. It's kind of growing on me. I think we may go. We may go with that. Here is it centered. Yep. What kind of center mass are we looking at? Uh, yeah. So we're going to be setting other equipment back here because we want that center of mass to be pretty much in the very center of the cargo bay. Get this procedural wing part. I like this part. The procedural wing styled to work with. Uh, work with the B9 aerospace parts. Here, let's put it all the way down there like that. Okay, well, see, now that we got the edge of that wing kind of showing up a little bit too much in there. Um, go up one notch. And it's still going to be kind of visible in there. Uh, okay, we can bet you we can make this one work. I'm thinking about how I'm going to do this with the landing gear. I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and, and put that uh, nose gear up there. Uh, there's another part uh, edited. Uh, it's actually kind of an, an edit of a config file edit uh, using the stock parts. You can use these retractable. I made a discovery. If I take the same landing gear, which the, the resized landing gear, which comes from uh, Tavirio's Pizza and Aerospace, and if I go and I change one line in the config file, they can start in the retracted position, which would be very useful. Put that thing on there like that. Yeah, doesn't that look nice? I, c I can leave these wings kind of up, maybe advance them a little bit up there like that, and then we'll do a separate, like, tailplane, a uh, separate kind of tail assembly back there. I'm thinking I'm liking that idea. All right, now in becomes all the fun, fiddly little details, trying to get this shape just perfect, you know? Take that tip down to a point. A point, I said. Stop it. Oh, this is really, really difficult to work with. I need a fine control mode. Yeah, maybe that's looking too sharp. Okay, okay, I think I like that look for the tail. Tail assembly. We can do some more tweaking on it later if it's not going to work. Uh, maybe it needs to be just a bit bigger. Overall, larger. Let's grow that out. 
That's maybe looking closer to reasonable. Yeah, okay, that's cool. Let's hang some control surfaces on that veil. Huh? Do I want to go with these guys? These gin ginormous things? Probably not. Oh, interesting, we get our... So what... Anytime I... Is it a B9 aerospace part that I, if I attach that, then we get... Get the flame sound effects? What's going on with that? <laughs> um... I don't know, that's looking pretty... Just real ugly. I suppose I could... Oh, come on, now. Let's take a look at some, uh, some other options. Yeah, I'm liking we'll do it this way and we'll blend... We'll use these control surfaces and then we'll kind of blend these into the shape. Let's get rid of that piece for now. Is that too ugly a gap? Well, that's a pretty big gap. Well, okay, let's look at doing it this way. Oh, fiddly little details, isn't it? Okay, yeah, I can live with this. This I can live with this. This will work. All right, now we'll go put a, kind of an abbreviated tip on there. works for me. Good. Okay, so there's our uh, horizontal stab with the elevators. Now let's take a look at a main wing and some ailerons. Uh, take a look at our center mass, center of lift. Yeah, definitely need our center of lift just a little bit further forward. Uh, tell you what, one thing I can do is I can put, I can put some of, I already know that I'm going to need some RCS. Where those, uh, those long skinny RCS tanks go? Conformal, that's the word it's looking for. Oh, there we go, that's the ticket. There we go. That, that's much better. And that's not poking, that's slightly poking inside the cargo bay, but... Not too terribly. How much RCS in one of these? 90. So there's 180. This is 360. That's significantly less ugly. And it's also useful. Okay, well, what, what am I going to do with these wings? And also, whenever I put some fuel tanks, hide some fuel tanks inside the wings, and try to move that center mass backwards a little bit more. Start uh, this one. We probably want it fairly flat, but we'll put some dihedral out at the tips. Let's begin a little gentle curve there, like that. Just kind of eyeballing it, like how much wing area, wing surface I'm going to need. And this one, let's give it just one small click of dihedral. As we see the beginning of a slight curve upwards there. Actually, this one you probably want to start. So this is curving this direction. This is where we'll actually start the curve back the other direction because it's going to be like an S shape. Leading edge will have kind of an S shape to it. Yep, a little bit more of a curve upwards. Nice gentle curve. And then we'll start to try and blend that out into the, t into the tip. Okay. Well, that's kind of an attractive wing shape. I like that. However, now it's looking like it's still my center of lift is too far in back. Hmm. 
maybe these wings need to be just like a little bit larger and we can afford to actually sweep them forward some too. Yeah, here, let's grow them out a little bit bigger and start to sweep them forward some. Uh, that was a positive difference. It's moving in the right direction. Uh, do I want to try and move the whole assembly forward some? Well, first off, let's look at hanging our... If I hang my mains, my main landing gear back there, what that does to our center of mass. And look at that center of mass, still too far forward. So, um, I could take a look at, since I suspect that this engine... Okay, let's let's go ahead and look at tweakable parameters. Since I suspect that this engine, just the stock, just one engine, will not be sufficient for my needs. What happens if we double the mass on this thing? Double the mass and double the thrust. Yeah, I know that with this tweakable parameters mod, it would be uh, really easy to to cheat and give yourself low mass and high thrust. But uh, in this kind of honor system, I I don't want to cheat, so I'm not going to. Yeah, that may work, huh? Let's move that backwards some. And go through another. Let's do some more tweaking of, of maybe move the sweep in the wings, roll them out a little bit and sweep them forward some. And it's turning into an uglier shape as well. No, I really just need to have this wing I uh, need to add some, like, kinds of, like, we need to have the wings start up earlier. Up, 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 uh, forward on the vehicle. We need to start the wing surface back here. Let's go ahead and let's, let's sweep these things backwards again. Because, yeah, we got it to the point where it's starting to look kind of ridiculous back there. Yeah, okay, okay, and now I'll add another wing piece, and we'll add it up front here, and we'll work on kind of blending that into the leading edge. And pull this back here, so we end up with this kind of two-tone effect to it. This, uh, like, two different thicknesses of wing, which is kind of ugly, but it will work. And it did pull that center of lift forward some. Okay. Yeah, that works. Uh, except now I've made this into kind of an uh, an abrupt change of the shape right at this point. Okay, let's, let's reshape this. Or actually, I need to d pull this one out some. Okay, yeah, I think that's acceptable. Uh, let's do some struts on that thing. Well, actually, no, wait a second. For first, uh, before I do that, start look at doing some control surfaces on here. So you want to straighten that back end out some. Ooh, I think I like that. Add a little bit more curve to it. Ooh, I think I like that one. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay, okay, yeah, now let's look at doing some strutting on here. I'm going to use the, the, the KW Rocketry. They're medium strength struts for all of this stuff. I know it's going to be experiencing some significant aerodynamic forces trying to tear it apart. Okay, so now let's take a look. Now we need some vertical stabilizers on here. I'm going to do like a twin tail kind of a thing. Well, I suppose I could put one right here. But no, I, I want to attach twin twin tails on this thing. Interesting that these are wanting to be all crooked like this. What's the issue? I suppose I could attach them down here.
Uh, do I want to try and do my, my looping? No, I don't. No, we'll just, we'll just do like kind of a conventional twin tail thing. I was thinking about trying to do my, my, my looping like half Taurus kind of a thing. Uh, nah, not this time. We may, we may do that for later on when this, when this series is going to progress to larger, larger vehicles, larger space shuttles. There, that looks about right. Okay, good. And now we'll hang some rudders on there. How about these guys? Standard control surfaces. Maybe too big. Actually, just about the right size, huh? It's not going to catch on fire inside the, the OMS engine there, is it? Blend the tip into the control surface like that. Good. Yeah, I think that works. Okay. Looking pretty cool. All right, take a look again. Center mass, center of lift. That's all good. Uh, let me see. While I'm here, let's do some struttage for the tail assembly. There, that'll work. Give me plenty of structural rigidity there. Good. Well, this is really coming along, isn't it? <laughs>